Okay, next step, step number four is don't shop brand, shop ingredients. This is really important because it first is great for your nutrition and health benefits, but it also means you're getting higher quality food and that means that you're not as hungry as often, which limits the, the snacking and those more expensive eating throughout the day. Um, and for us, this is really important because um, we really watch ingredients because our kids are lactose intolerant. We have one that has pretty significant eczema. And so the, the quality of the ingredients really matters. So you can get great quality ingredients um, by not necessarily looking for name brand items. Um, and that's one great way to save a lot of money. Things that are convenient and easy to make are oft often have the worst ingredients in them and are usually more expensive, you know, cereals, things of that nature. So when you're buying things, you, when we look in our pantry or cabinets, most of the time you can't just pull something out to eat it. You have to really think about what you're gonna make before you eat it. It limits a lot of the extra snacking. It limits a lot of the unhealthy ingredients that come with most of the prepackaged and easy foods. And it also forces us to stay uh, to our goal of having healthy, safe meals for our kids. In addition, when you buy your foods in season, they're a lot less expensive. Uh, I think it's interesting because apples are always available. Pears are always available. There's always some version of citrus, whether orange or peaches or, or nectarines, always available every single season. But you'll find that those things are far more expensive out of season than they are in season. But they're also far less nutritious and far less healthy for you because they're being forced to grow at times that they wouldn't normally be grown, which means they have a lot more pesticides a lot more fertilizers that aren't necessarily natural for you, but you'll find the foods don't also taste all that great either. Um, and so uh, when we make our list, we say lunch veggies and we say lunch fruit. And when we go to the store, we look for the stuff that's in season and we buy the stuff that's the best value. Um, and then we're getting the most out of those fruits and veggies, but we're also buying stuff that's gonna be tasty and very nutritious as well. When we first got married, I was under the impression that the more expensive brands had the better ingredients. In most of the cases, that is not true. So really be aware of what some of the unhealthy ingredients are that you want to be avoiding and start looking at the backs of the packages rather than the fronts. Um, also, I've heard a lot about couponing and, um, and many women have been very successful at using coupons to lower their food budget. I've found in general this hasn't really worked for our goals because most of those coupons are for prepackaged, pre-made foods that are have unhealthy ingredients. Or more expensive name brand products. And they weren't things I was going to be buying anyways. And so if I used coupons, I would end up spending more money than I was actually saving because they weren't for items that were on my list. So if you can use coupons for the things that are on your list and maintain your goal of using healthy ingredients and making foods that are gonna benefit your family nutritionally and still save money, that's great. But most of the time, I think you'll find that those coupons are gonna be for the pre-made, pre-packaged, pre-cut items that are generally, ha generally have a uh, far less nutritional value.